Hello. I wanted to explain a little bit how the anti-bunion stretcher came about. When I was at the beginning of my professional career, I was about 20, um, my feet uh, had been changing for the last few years. Um, they've been getting a little bit wider, probably are still growing. And there was a point where my, my shoes were a little bit too tight. But I loved my shoes. I was very happy with them. I didn't want to change them. So I kept using it, despite that, that, that they were a bit more uncomfortable. Um, eventually, I was growing corns and, and having some, some issues. And I went to see uh, a specialist, and they removed the corns. Um, which was great, uh, but um, there was a, a small infection and to be honest I didn't pay attention to it and so that got bigger and it traveled into the joint of my big toe and on a flight to Australia as we were going on tour um, on those 24 hours my foot blew and my big toe joint, my bunion, was the size of a tennis ball. So I had to be carried out of the flight in a wheelchair uh, straight into hospital. I was put into a very strong treatment of antibiotics, but uh, because the joint doesn't have much blood flow, it didn't work. So the doctors told me that the only solution was to have surgery because the infection was eating into the cartilage and the joint, and I risk that I would never be able to dance again. It was a very scary moment. I was just beginning and I was being told by the doctors that I might never dance again. However, it was the only solution at the time and so I went ahead with the surgery. It all went well. Um, the infection stopped and I had to continue with some more antibiotics, stronger antibiotics, but eventually the infection stopped. However, um, my feet had changed um, and they were never the same. Uh, from then on, my right foot was very different to my left foot and it was certainly very different to the foot I had um, known up until that point. Uh, my bunion was very big and I couldn't fit on my ballet shoes anymore. Um, I thought maybe the solution was to go for bigger shoes, but it wasn't a bigger foot, it was just a bigger bunion. The rest of the shoe fitted well, so a bigger shoe just made all other kinds of problems. Um, so uh, my father um, suggested that I try uh, stretching the shoes like with a normal um, shoe stretcher from the streets that you can buy. And first I found them very big and that they didn't really fit into a ballet point shoe. But also that when you stretched it, you lost the cavity. So, so your, your toes suddenly became really squeezed. Um, and also you lost the base. Uh, that you needed for turning and balance. So I, I, that didn't work for me. So then my dad, who, who is a wonderful man, as everyone's dad is, um, designed the foot, uh, the anti bunion stretcher, so that the shoe would be expanded only in the area of the bunion, but without losing any of the cavity or any of the shape. And that's how it was uh, invented. Um, and to be honest, uh, I believe that without it, I could have never had the career I had. Um, I had used it ever since uh, with every p uh, pair of shoes. It travels with me everywhere. I share it with other ballerinas that have bonding problems and everyone loves it. Um, and so eventually we decided that we wanted to make it available for more people. Um, and, and that's how this adventure uh, began. So I would like to show you how simple and easy it is to use. You just put in the antibonion stretcher, which slides easily into the area that you need to stretch. And you need to, to use this accessory and you just turn it around and you can do as much or as little as you want. Um, you can open it a lot or you can open it very little, literally as much as, of as little as as you really need, um, you know. And also you can slide it further or, or, or not, depending on exactly the area that you want to, to expand. So as you can see, it's just very easy. So I'm just gonna leave it there. So this is just a little. Um, I can stretch it more if you want. 
gets a little bit tighter the more you want to stretch because obviously the shoe, the canvas um, uh, gets tighter and tighter. Yeah. So that's more. And I usually leave it overnight and the next day I remove it and then it's ready. And I can show you now a shoe that I have left overnight. So you can see the difference between the left shoe that I don't stretch and the right shoe. And you can see that it's just a little bit wider, which is what I need. If you see it against the black, it's just a little bit wider in the area that I need where my bunion is. But if you see it like this, one shoe against the other in profile, you have lost nothing of the volume, of the width. And obviously there's no change in the base, which means you can still you know ha have comfort inside the shoe but also you can balance and turn and that it won't change at all how the shoe works it will just um, help the bunion to slide in comfortably